Welcome back, Legends. I hope you're all fantastic. We're checking out Firmware 25 for the Axe FX3. The full release is out. You can either download it from the forum or just use the auto update feature in FractalBot. If you've got the editor connected and you don't know how to open FractalBot, come up to Tools, go to FractalBot. It will check to see if you're on the latest firmware. You can see I'm on Firmware 25. If not, it will give you a little pop-up message and offer you a link to download and install the latest firmware. They've overhauled the modeling algorithms in this. They're calling it Cygnus X3. There are a few new drive and amp models in here, and there is a new kill dry feature in a lot of the time-based effect blocks. So like the reverb, the pitch, the multi-delay, the delay, you can see down here this kill dry feature. We'll get to that in a second and how you would use that. I really like that this has been added in here. Uh, but for now, let's start off. Brit 800, 2203 high into my free cab IR. I have the usual low cut and high cut that I start with. Uh, this is a PRS CE24 standard. This is an A chord. <laughs> out of life. A JCM 800, some greenbacks, a bit of plate reverb. Life is good, but there's so many amp models in here. Another one that I've been digging is the Brit 800 mod. I've got the CC boost on this one. It's kind of like the same vibe, just stickier and hairier. Great for this kind of thing. <laughs> JCM 800s and their variations, I mean, you could just roll with these and you would have amazing guitar tone all the time. I'm going to switch over to another amp block because I think one amp model that has been massively improved in this firmware is the Deluxe Reverb. I really just like the normal channel on this. Let's hear the neck single coil mode of this guitar. <laughs> players survive for decades with the JCM 800 and the Deluxe Reverb as the main choice. I'm sure we could do that as well, but why would you when you have so many other fun things to play with, like the new Class A 30 watt brilliant amp model? One thing that I got turned on to about dialing in Vox models is this, crank the high cut. So basically the high cut is at its maximum high cuttiness, so it's going to be quite dull. And then the bass and the treble on a Vox style circuit. Basically, as you turn them both down, it's kind of gonna boost the mid range and it's gonna scoop the mids as you turn them up. So for the chimey thing, I like the bass and treble around seven as a starting point. Then what you do is you start here and you start backing off the high cut to the point where it is just chimey enough. Back on the neck single coil mode, we get this. <laughs>
jump back to the Deluxe Reverb for a second because I want to show you the Sunrise Splendor model in here based off the JHS Morning Glory. It's a great little amp in a box style drive. Let's hear it at the stock settings. There is a high cut model in here as well. So two different versions of the same drive. <laughs> finish up let's take a look at the kill drive function in blocks like the reverb and the delay previously if you wanted to route blocks in parallel you would one need to place them in parallel and then two you'd have to set the mix to 100 percent and either use the input gain or the level control to control how much effect you want to hear whereas now if you engage kill dry when you're running in parallel you can use the mix control just to control the overall mix in there so no dry signal will go through the block. This is particularly handy because say I've got the mix on the gold plate at 12%, but I want to place it in parallel. I don't have to turn the mix up to 100% and either turn the level or the input gain down. I can just leave it at 12%, hit kill dry and I'm good to go. <laughs> This is particularly handy if you wanted to route multiple blocks in parallel. Let's say I've got this pitch block set up for a dual detune delay. You can see the mix is at 40% over here. I'll drag it down so that it is now in parallel with my reverb block and I will recable all of these and move these shunts across. Then if I just hit kill dry on the pitch block and engage it, I'm going to have the same mix that I had before on the pitch going into the reverb but they're both in parallel now. And this dual detune delay sounds killer. I have to play this. <laughs> And there's another example using the delay block, either in series, no kill dry, or in parallel with kill dry on. One of those little quality of life improvements on there that will make things faster and easier and will lead to fewer instances of, hey, why is my preset kind of behaving weirdly? You can just go, hey, you're running in parallel, turn kill dry on. I was running the 5153 Stealth Red 100 watt model in there as well. That's why it sounded a little bit different when I was using the delay block rather than the dual detune delay in the pitch. For anyone curious, I love these stealth amp models in here. The Mark IV is sounding slamming, the JCM800 sound great, the Deluxe Reverb in particular, I think you may want to revisit on this firmware. That's really all I need to live my life as a guitar player, but the fact there's over 300 amp models in there that we can play around with 
is a glorious thing. Let me know what you're enjoying on this particular firmware and let me know if you've got any requests for future installments of five minute tones or my general fractal tutorials. If you like what I'm doing and want to support me, links to the music I make with Ragdoll and my Patreon are in the video description. That is all for now. Go and install this firmware, make some glorious guitar noises, and I will see you all on the next one. Cheers.